So Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel. I want to take a few minutes and I want to show you how to properly install an injector nozzle. If you're going to buy a nozzle, that's great. You can install them at home. We sell tools like this. This is how you properly hold the injector body without damaging the body. We've got the tools for basically everything that we sell nozzles for now. Uh, the tools are not very expensive, but there's a lot of steps come along the way. For your specific need, for your specific engine, you can always feel free to reach out and call us and we'll go through it with you. Uh, today, for all practical purposes, I'm gonna be showing you the, uh, the Cummins type stuff. So five, nine, six, seven, basically it both works the exact same way. Now, I've already got the Cummins tool chucked up in the vise. I've already broke this nut free. So at this point, nozzle nut's gonna come off. When they come out of an old motor that's been around a long time, I'm gonna take my handy dandy toothpick, and this is a critical tool, you're gonna want one of these. The toothpick is pointing at the area where the carbon gets stuck. Now the carbon will act like glue and it bonds the nozzle nut to the nozzle. When you go to break it free on the vise, it may break off the pins that align the nozzle. So how we do it here at the shop is we would take a pick and we would break some of that carbon out of there. Then we would throw them in the ultrasound machine and the heat from the ultrasound machine plus the ultrasound machine's washing ability gets all of that carbon out of there for us and we're not fighting the stickiness. So nozzle nut, it's gonna be really critical that uh, you take this nozzle nut and you run a wire brush inside of it with some brake clean, get all of the inside of that thing there spotless. There can be nothing in the threads, there can be nothing up above the threads all of that needs to be just dead spotless, perfectly clean. When reapplying the nozzle nut, I'll take just a little bit of this Lucas stuff and I run just a little tiny bit of lube on the threads to make sure the threads don't get sticky. I would also use the Lucas on the shoulder of the new nozzle. And that, it's kind of like when you torque a head stud. If you don't, if you're wanting to pull on that stud good and tight with no lube, it's gonna to start to chatter on you and there's a good chance you're gonna pop the stud. The lube acts as, uh, it just gives you a little bit of less friction between nozzle nut and nozzle, and it doesn't want to pull and pop on you. So that's why we do that. Okay, so a couple of things I want to show you. Down inside here, got a camera that's going to be watching these little parts. How this stuff all works, you've got a spring with pretension on it. This is called the DFK shim. That thing's responsible for idle and just after idle, the tip in. So we can change these things here at the shop. We can make sure that we get the idles to idle within like two cc's of one another. The factory spec is like a 10 cc variation is okay, but we don't choose to let them go out like that. So if you send them in, this is one of the things that we calibrate. This is just a sleeve that holds what we're gonna call the DNH. The DNH, just for example, that's the options of DNH shims that we have in stock. And these help the overall needle travel get balanced out. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got all my parts in this injector. DFK, spring, DNH, they don't like to go in and lay flat perfectly every single time. This is where the toothpick comes in really handy. It's non-magnetic, it's just the right size. As long as you keep it clean, it ends up being a great little tool. Take my new nozzle, going to apply new nozzle onto the injector body. Like I said, a little bit of lube. Make sure that your nozzle nut is dead clean. A little bit of lube inside the threads just to make sure that they stay nice and smooth when you go to torquing them. There's a few different torque specs available for all the different injectors and the nozzles that we sell. You can find those on our website. There's instruction sheets on the website you can print off, but if you're stubborn and you don't like to do that, like me, then uh, you can actually just call in and we'll give you the specs. On the Cummins body stuff, I torque all these to 40 pound feet. 
Okay. If you're doing this at home, the only thing you've got left is to take the copper washer and install. To make sure the copper washer doesn't fall off, you can take just a little tiny bit of grease or transmission assembly lube and it'll kind of glue it onto the body and it won't fall off. Here at the shop, what we're gonna do is uh, we would throw it in the test stand. So one of the values that we would give for in-house installation is we balance out your injector bodies so they'll run smoother and better than they've ever ran before. Factory specs are a little bit loose. We try to tighten up those specs by a lot. And at this moment, I would throw in the test stand, run the injector, five different settings. We would balance it and get it within like say 2%. Uh, they wouldn't leave here until all six of your or all eight of your injectors were actually within 2%. Now, if you're doing this at home or if you're doing this at a shop, if you start the truck and it doesn't sound as smooth as it did before, or if there's any knocking or rattling going on, pull the injectors back out. I hate to say it, but you need to send those in for calibration at this point. Reason for that is if you've got an injector that's hitting a lot harder or a lot softer than others, you've got possible damage coming to the engine. We don't want that. We don't want to be a part of that. You don't want that. An inexpensive nozzle swap can be very expensive if you end up hurting a motor. So please, at that point, just send the injectors in. We'll calibrate them as fast as we can and get them back to you. Uh, long run, you'll be a lot happier that way. But that's pretty much it. That's the uh, 5, 9, and 6, 7 Cummins nozzle installation. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, 208-209-3214, uh, or shoot us an email. Uh, you can find us on our www.dynamitediesel.com whenever you like. Thank you. Have a great morning.